It's Tuesday, February 26, 2008, and you are watching The Whiteman. Today is the 75th anniversary of the birth of Johnny Cash. I'm Steve Tatum, and I walk the line. I'm not going to say yesterday's episode was bad, but the uh, three-year-old girl on YouTube describing the plot of Star Wars was calling me up and offering me jokes. Our top story in political news, things are getting pretty desperate over at the Clinton campaign. They have been distributing this photograph of Barack Obama from a 2006 trip to Africa, I guess, as if to suggest maybe he's Muslim or he's scary because he dresses differently than you, or perhaps just the fact they don't like to support any candidate who doesn't wear a pantsuit. Although leaders often wear the native dress of places they visit. For example, here you see, what's that? Maybe she's a crazy Muslim. Look at that. Rudy Giuliani just lounging around the house. According to a new poll, Obama is 16% ahead of Clinton nationally. 16% according to this poll. Of course, the margin for error, as it has been in all polls this political season, 54%. In environmental news and a taste test over the weekend, experts sampled water from more than a hundred different municipalities around the globe and the winning water came from the city water system of Los Angeles. Right here in Los Angeles, the best tasting water in the world. Cheers to Los Angeles' water. Ah, that is good. It tastes just like delusion. Mm, the secret ingredient? It's laced with shattered dreams. Two seemingly unrelated stories. A new survey says 50% of all people have left the faith in which they were raised and recently credit card debt has mounted, increasing threefold in this country. These stories are related because people's new religion? The flat screen TV. In entertainment news, the Oscar telecast this year, the lowest rated in Oscar history. What's the matter? Come on, America, don't you like psychopathic, abusive, addicted, amoral, feel-good movies? And finally, the nation of South Africa has loosened the rules on elephant poaching, making it legal to hunt elephants. Get ready for the McDumbo. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum. And that's news. Catch you tomorrow, everybody.